Welcome everyone into The Gamer Professor, and today we're going to continue this uh, analysis of CD Projekt Red, what they've been dealing with, and now it seems like it's jumped the shark again, and just in case you don't know, CD Projekt Red recently released Cyberpunk 2077, and while some people, myself included, love the game, haven't had a lot of issues, a ton of people have had some massive issues. And again, just because my experience doesn't reflect that doesn't mean that it's not true. So um, literally on <laughs> December 14th, yesterday, Cyberpunk, and I love it, they tweeted at 12.47 a.m. probably because, you know, the time differences. <sighs> they released quite a heavy statement. And we're going to analyze it today. And again, as a communication professor, someone who deals in public affairs and stuff like that, uh, that's you know what my degree's in. I want to analyze this, and I think it's interesting. So let's go ahead. Let's look at it. So first off, dear gamers, first of all, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last-gen consoles before it premiered and, in consequence, not allowing you to make a more informed decision about your purchase. We should have paid more attention to making it play better on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Now, I want to stop there. Real quick, there are many games that if you were to pop them in, the original, not the Xbox one X or the Xbox One S, but the original Xbox One, when it first came out, PUBG and other, they are not very well optimized for that hardware. And that hardware is pretty old. I mean, we're talking more than six, seven years old, right? Like, I mean, that's, that's some old hardware. It's not excusable. I'm just saying, like, this is a pretty ambitious game. I'm very interested to see, like, that must have been difficult to try and get it down, even on all low settings. But that being said, there were still other issues, just the functionality of it. So, continuing on. Second, we will fix bugs and crashes and improve the overall experience. This is something they've continued to do, and I know they'll do with other games. But they state the first round of updates has just been released, and the next one is coming within the next seven, week, uh, seven days. Expect more, as we will update frequently whenever new improvements are ready. After the holidays, we'll continue working. We'll release two large, pa two large patches, starting with patch one in January. Be followed by patch two in February. Together, these should fix the most prominent problems gamers are facing on last gen consoles. We will be informing you about the contents of each patch ahead of the release. They won't make the game on last gen look like it's running on high spec PC or next gen console, but it will be closer to the experience that is now. And I think, stop there real quick, that is important. I think a lot of people saw gameplay on a PC with a 3090, you know, RTX, maybe two 3090s in SLI, right? with ray tracing and everything and said, man, my Xbox can produce that without a really good understanding of the difference between seven years in technology. And I do mean seven years. I know that console life is longer. You know, when I look right here at my uh, Xbox Series X, I just see, I see a PC, really. I see a PC type of mold. But that being said, I think a lot of people you know, look at this and just go, oh my gosh, like, look at that great game. It's going to run so smooth. And I think the fallacy is to look at this and to go, yep, it's going to run so smooth on my Xbox One. And it's going to look just like that. I understand that it should look somewhat similar, but I do think that there was a, a stretch of how great it was going to look. But let's finish out this article. Finally, we would always like everyone who buys our games to be satisfied with their purchase. We'd appreciate it if you would give us a chance, but if you are not pleased with the game on your console or don't want to wait for updates, you can opt to refund your copy. For copies purchased digitally, please use the refund system on PSN or Xbox, respectively. For box versions, please first try to get a refund at the store where you bought the game. Should this not be possible, please contact us at this website, and we will do our best to help you. Starting from today, you can contact us for a week up until December 21st. Now, a couple of things that really stand out, stand out to me. One is the big one, which is... The fact of if there's a problem like this, that that's bad, right? That this was a massive enough issue for the company to say, okay, yeah, we shouldn't have done this that way. We shouldn't have alluded to the fact that it's going to look like this. Um, we should have been very clear about the last gen expectations. And there's a massive problem right here. The fact that you have to address it tells me, again, as a communication professor who teaches business communication, who has a degree in public relations, this is problematic already. It was a big enough issue and it was so bad that they had to. And again, you'll see some of these screenshots 
I understand. Like when I've seen some of the things, and I'm not talking bugs or glitches, but just more or less the graphical issues, the loading, etc. I understand. I really do. I own an Xbox. I didn't install it on the Xbox for a reason. Instead, I used the Xbox Series X. I understand, and I'm not surprised. I really am not. But I came into that with a, you know, the grain of salt that this thing's pretty old. It's going to probably have trouble running it, but I didn't expect this much. Now, I do want to say this. The fact that CD Projekt Red said something about it, not just that, but then said, if you want a refund, we'll do that too. We'll try and help you get that. I think that's solid. I think we can all agree that many companies, EA, anybody, they're not gonna they're not gonna give you a refund. They're gonna try and give you maybe some in-game DLC or some other crap and just be like, well, you know, we'll try harder next time. I think CD Projekt Red realizes the difference here and realizes how important this is so that they're like, hey, we're gonna do something about this. We're gonna make sure that if you really do want a refund, you can do that. And I'll give them props for that. Now, let's move one step beyond this. I think this is also a problem, which is, and again, coming from an IGN article that CD Projekt Red, stocks drop 30%, 29% around Cyberpunk 2077 launch. Now, according to IGN, as reported by GameIndustry.biz, shares are currently priced at the Polish currency of 313.9, down from 443 on December 4th. The decline is likely due to a release and press coverage revealing that Cyberpunk 2077 suffers from a plethora of bugs and glitches, and has notably poor, poor performance on previous console generations. And again, they have been spread through social media. Now, that being said, let's look a little previously here. As the article states, CD Projekt Red experienced an all-time high in share price back in August with a share price of 460, and again, this is the Polish market, and a total market cap of 42 billion. Over time, that has declined around the announcement of the major issues, such as the reports of studio enforcing mandatory crunch and a delay for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, as it relates to their stock price, I think this is panic selling at its best. I can't imagine that due to this, that cyber, or due to the fiasco that happened with Cyberpunk, that CD Projekt Red is going to go bankrupt, that they're going to start laying people off and they'll never make another game. I, I just can't imagine that. I'm pretty sure that some people said, oh my gosh, this is an issue. And I know these people personally, that when there's a little fluctuation, they just go haywire because if there's one thing they don't like, it's this idea of losing money, right? I mean, no one likes to lose money, of course, but that, oh my gosh, if it goes down 1%, that's 1% already. And again, these are people that probably had a lot of stock in it. So 1% to them is a lot. But that being said, I think if there's one thing that the stock market has taught me that is true is that you got to play the long game here, right? Um, <laughs> especially a lot of people saw investing properties over the COVID issues in certain areas and industries. And I've made my money back because there were those sellers, you know, five times over, though there were those sellers of companies that got rid of it because they said, oh my gosh, the pandemic. And now the companies are, are starting to come back. Not all of them. Again, it's it's specific and all contextual. But some are coming back and I'm sure these people are going, maybe I shouldn't have sold my stock there. So that being said, I can't imagine that this will make a long-term dent in CD Projekt Red. If anything, I think more or less this will just be a little more of a, hey, maybe you should be a little wary when it comes to your next release for CD Projekt Red to make sure that they're clear about the expectations on all consoles and that they take as much time as possible, even though, you know, in my playthrough, I really haven't had a lot of issues. Again, I understand it's on the Xbox Series X, but I haven't dealt with a lot of bugs and glitches and major issues that have broken the game, and I'm enjoying my playthrough. So I understand it, but I will give props to CD Projekt Red, not just for the addressment of it. I think most companies sh should address it, but more importantly, the, the fact of them trying to reach out and say, hey, if you really want a refund, even though we're sorry and we're going to change it and we're going to make it better, we can do that, which I think is a lot more than most companies would do, especially some of the video game companies that uh, I referred to earlier. But that being said, 
I don't think it's a long-term issue, and that's just my two cents. Thanks for tuning in to The Gamer Professor, everyone. You have a great rest of your day. Take care. Thank you so much for watching The Gamer Professor. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Anytime you want to talk to me, feel free to catch me on all my other social media platforms, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Remember, all one word, The Gamer Professor. Thanks so much for the view. Take care.